All right, what's going on, everybody? So this is my impressions for the Crackdown 3 single player campaign. So before I get into the details, like many other people, um, just based on the eye test of looking at the trailers of Crackdown 3 um, and just all the red flags surrounding it, we, we expected it to be garbage. It, it looked like trash, right? And, you know, I was definitely one of those people just analyzing the gameplay and all the details surrounding it. Yeah, it, it looked terrible, not only visually, but specific, what's more importantly, gameplay-wise, right? So, that's why, I, of course, I wasn't going to buy the game, and I did not want to, more importantly, I didn't want to support Microsoft's trend of releasing mediocre games. But they had a little, um, I guess you can call it promotion going, um, that you can get, I think I think it was two months or at least one month of Xbox Game Pass for $2. That's literally all, all I had to pay to play this game was $2. Now, not that that makes a difference on how I'm going to rate the game, because to me, that is not an excuse. Price is not an excuse for, for mediocrity, right? So I'm just saying why I decided to at least give the game a chance, because all I had to do was, play, uh, was pay uh, $2. And, you know, even though... I'm completely fine with people saying a game looks like trash. I've always said, I can say a game looks like trash all day. I have no problem with that. But I say you cannot actually say a game is trash and that it's a bad game until you play it. So that's why I decided, you know, I'm going to play it so I can actually have a valid opinion on the game. Okay, so pretty much let's get let's get into the story, I guess, of Crackdown 3. And it's not really much of a story you shouldn't expect you know, any type of deep narrative plot or exposition here in this type of game. I don't think anybody really expected that. But this takes place 10 years after Crackdown 2, and it's pretty much a terrorist attack happens um, that kills the power source of apparently the entire world. And the, ag the agency, of course, you know, they have to fight this uh, terrorist attack, and they trace it to the city of New Providence. Long story short, um, it's the organization of uh, Terra Nova, and the agency's attack against Terra Nova fails, and they're pretty much all the agents um, that were on this mission are pretty much more or less killed. That's the setup for this. So you get regenerated. This is not much spoilers or anything, because like I said, it's not much of a story. You get regenerated. You get to choose uh, you, your agent that you get to start at start out as, and. In the beginning, they have a uh, little minor um, statistics, very small statistics, nothing like RPG element like or anything like that. Just small advantages, whether it be um, uh, gun skills or destruction skills or agility skills, uh, li like that. Uh, it's, 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 so it's like that, right? Um, and pretty much that's how they set it up that you now have to go around the city. Uh, powering up your character by collecting orbs. So that's the setup uh, of the story. Moving on to the gameplay. So pretty much the, the simple premise is you have to accomplish certain missions around the city and then once you accomplish these certain missions it unlocks the boss of that area uh, or of that in that industry. It's a pretty, pretty simple concept. Now the Let's talk about some aspects of the game. The traversal is pretty good. You you unlock more moves as you go around the city and you collect different orbs. So your character does begin to, you know, become more powerful and uh, gain more abilities as you, as you move throughout the city and you accomplish these different tasks, which is a good thing. That's cool. The shooting... I mean, it's pretty much straightforward. It's it's bare bones, no no frills or anything like that. It's it's really not much you can say about the shooting mechanics or how it feels. It doesn't feel great. It's kind of it kind of just exists. It, it it's kind of just there. Um, like I said, you unlock different abilities and moves by collecting orbs, and that's I I feel like that's kind of that's like half of what the game is 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 a collectathon. Collecting orbs, you need those. Uh, to take on the stronger enemies and the, the, in, in different areas because there are different enemy types uh, depending on which side of the city uh, you are in. They have like different abilities, different guns uh, because they're uh, from the different um, organizations that are under, under Terra Nova. 
so yeah it pretty much just turns out to be a collect-a-thon and like a, a, a busy work game just doing a whole bunch of side activities a whole bunch of busy work there that, that aren't necessarily fun um driving is cool i actually like the driving mechanics it's very arcade driving mechanics but i like that you can just you know drive around the city they have some like stunts that you can do with cars to un unlock more orbs that that's cool uh, the open world, or rather sa sandbox, isn't anything really impressive. The city feels empty, it, it feels pretty dead. Uh, especially for a game coming out in 2019, it, 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 the city does not, definitely does not feel alive. There's, there are, are games with better sandbox or open worlds, better designed um, sandbox or open worlds, with more uh, lifelike infrastructure that came out last gen. So this game is absolutely dated, and in many ways, and we're gonna get we're gonna get to the other ways ways it's dated uh, as we move along. So yeah, like I said, the biggest problem with this game is I, I it's it's pretty dull. It's 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 monotonous. It's very repetitive. The gameplay loop it is very simplistic. You're just doing typically doing the same thing over and over again, and that's <laughs> and that kind of summarizes the the gameplay of Crackdown. I, that really. That's really what it is. There's just not much variety or dynamics uh, to mix up the gameplay. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's very bare bones and, and basic, and gets boring and dry uh, really fast. Um, so moving on to the the visuals. Now that I talked about the the, the gameplay, uh, because this was obviously uh, a point of topic um, before the game came out, amongst many other things. So is does the game look as bad as it? did in many i would say gameplay uh videos and trailers no i wouldn't say it, it, it looks that bad i'm playing at 1440p i'm playing on pc by the way playing at 1440p 1440p ultra settings uh over 60 frames so my pc is doing everything for this game that it possibly can other than uh running it at 4k but the game the game looks okay b based on those settings right but it's not okay for this for for the times the times that we are in and let me explain like it's not the art style of the game because there are games that use this art style the cell shaded art style that came out last gen that still that look that looked good right like gravity rush or uh or borderlands or uh there's there's a few other cell shaded games um, last generation and I think they started to use it a little less uh, this generation but last generation this generation there are cell shaded games that look good the art style is not the problem it's just the vis the the visual and graph and graphical fidelity with this art style is not up to par it looks very dated okay so it's not the art style it's just the the, the visuals and, and the graphic fidelity and, and quality level it just isn't up there and 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 it's like so so the it has actually it has all the bells and whistles of of that you would expect from a pc version when you go in the menu it has all of them right like you know the post processing the bloom the shadow the ambient occlusion um you know the lens flare the the, the foliage uh you know there's not much vegetation in this game but you know the and they have all of these settings can go up to ultra shot you know shadows and lighting the global level of detail all of these things are maxed out right but the like the ceiling of the graphics in this game are low so you're just maxing out a low ceiling of graphics that's that's really what it comes down to unfortunately so the visuals aren't as bad as we've seen, but they're not great either. It, it looks like... I wouldn't say it looks like a... It's like a cross... It looks like a cross-gen game, I think, to be accurate. It looks like a cross-gen game. Something that should have came out 2013, 14, maybe the, at the latest 15. Maybe at the latest. And I understand... And I'm going to address... A lot of things that you know people defend the game on you know like saying um it just looks like another crackdown game okay cool right so i've spoken about this you know the, the story the gameplay 
the visuals, you know, and, and like I said, it runs well. It run, like it, the online. If you watch my Wrecking Zone multiplayer uh, review, you know, I, I, there's some hiccups, there's some micro stuttering. The game runs very well. I can I can give it that. I haven't had no issues, especially playing it from the Windows Game Store, which we've known in in, in the past can be an absolute disaster. There's games from the Windows Game Store that I want to play, I still can't get it to run, or it just constantly crashes. This game has not crashed. There's no like actual problem, which is actually shocking. So I I give the game credit for that, and hopefully that means Microsoft is actually you know creating better PC versions from the uh, f and improving the Windows Game Store. Um, and the animation is terrible, like just the way your character moves, very very dated it's so stiff it it's it's extremely dated like when he's running it's the most awkward and strange animation you've ever seen it's just odd uh but like so i've talked about the different aspects now let me explain some, some things right let's talk about the first let's talk about like the metacritic score is it what i think currently it's sitting at a 60 Right, and people need to understand the game when Metacritic is the av average of different scores. So a game isn't necessarily what the Metacritic score is. This is it. Metacritic is just the average of the different scores, right? So is this? Would I say this game is a sixty based on what I played so far? Hmm, not a sixty, maybe a seventy. That would be rough. Maybe if, you know, if I really looked into any redeeming factors this game has, and even though, like I said, the gameplay is monotonous, it has some moments of that tap into, like, the, the, the most basics, basic elements of, of fun, but it doesn't really do anything past that. So maybe if I'm feeling generous, it could be a 70. But could it be a 75? Absolutely not. I don't think this. I don't think this game deserves over a 75. Low as low as a 60? Probably not. It's somewhere in between that. And like I said, if I'm able to finish the game, which I'm not sure I will be, because you know usually my policy, you know, th this game straddles the fence of of being a game that I can tolerate to beat. It's like it, it's just in between the threshold of being intolerable intolerable like and i think that's why it's literally it, it's getting the tag and people are defining this game as the pinnacle of mediocrity that's what everybody is it, like it's it's really it, it, the perfect word for this game is just mediocre it, it's not the campaign is not garbage it's not great. It's not good. It's literally mediocre. It's just the perfect word for this. And the problem with that is, is because that's all we've been getting from Microsoft. It just continues in the trend and the vein of what Microsoft has been releasing for its last four or five major releases. It's literally in the same vein and in the same family of those games. It's just mediocre. People need to understand like standards change i think that's what a lot of people a lot of xbox dudes a lot of you know microsoft fans are having trouble understanding if this game is just like crackdown one or two what's the problem the problem is times change and games evolve so when games evolve standards change a game that did something and came out in 2005 and may have been like a 9 out of 10, if that same game comes out in 2015, 10 years later, that game is not a 9 out of 10 anymore because the industry and the games around it evolved. If that game only makes minimal improvements and... and a version of that game comes out in 2015, no, it's not gonna get a nine because that's not acceptable anymore. That's not acceptable. Games around Crackdown evolved and changed standards and improved. This is more of the same. It's minimal, minimal improvements. 
And that's why it got the score that it did. Like I said, if this came out 2013, 14, or 15, probably easily a 7, 7.5. But based on what we've played, based on games that are coming out now, this is not acceptable. And that's what people need to understand. What was acceptable before is not acceptable now. And that's not bias against Microsoft games or Crackdown. That's for all games in the industry. That's all games. So that's why this game is just mediocre. And it's, it's just it's just a right below average game. And also, how you present a game matters. Microsoft touted and, and, and bragged about this game and its capabilities and what it would what it would do and what it was going to be for years upon years and they put it at the forefront as a part of 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 their you know amazing game lineup right that's what it was presented as that matters okay if this was a game you know microsoft presented as just like a low budget like type of indie game and people had that expectation of it and they told you that that's exactly what it was then that might have changed the perception of of it but presenting this game as a premier you know oh i guess triple a game in your lineup because if you spend six years on it and all that money went into it at this point yeah it, it's definitely triple a and this is the result no no, that that's 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 inexcusable. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much you we we paid for it. That it was two. That I got this for two dollars. That does not matter because there are there are literally indie studios now. Present day, there's indie studios making triple A games. Triple A games. This looks this crackdown looks like and, and crackdown pretty much is a triple a game from a big publisher that looks like an indie game when we have indie studios and like yes we know the narrative of what an indie studio is but when you have an indie studio with no publisher publishing their own game completely doing it by themselves no publisher backing them creating games that look that have way more quality and much more much more value than a game like this that it's just not it's just not tolerable it's not it's there's no there's no excuse there's no excuse and i'm gonna wrap this up i didn't mean for this impressions to be 20 minutes but you know you 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 really got to just got to talk about these things and not every game has to be some type of triple a photorealistic you know big budget game but once again, it's, it's how you present it. It's what you've been offering your consumers. It's the promises you make. It's how you tout the game. It's how you talk about it. A lot of things go into why this is not acceptable. There's just different dynamics, different dimensions into why it's so disappointing. So, yeah. Yeah. Those are my first, those are my impressions um, for Crackdown. And, and this is about me. I think I'm about like four hours into it. Like I said, I'm unsure of if I'll be able to complete it. Po it's possible. It's possible. I'm, I'm going to keep playing as of now until I, you know, feel like, unless I feel like, okay, I can't tolerate this no more, then I'll uninstall it. Because, you know, my motto has always been life is too short to play bad games. So. Those are my impressions. Let me know what y'all think about this. I'm out of here. Peace.